Welcome back to another aim lab guide. Results are an important part of aim lab and understanding them can make you an even better player. This video will break down the results given to you at the end of training tasks so that you can take away important information that will ultimately make you more skillful. Once you've completed a task, you'll be shown the results screen. A radar chart will appear in the middle showing the performance of the run you've just had. The chart shows for each section what overall percentile you fall in relative to other players on the same task. Score is your overall points obtained from the run. Score is a quick indicator of how well you did during the task. On the right side of the screen, you can see your score total along with accuracy measured in percentage and time to kill measured in milliseconds. Kill total is the total amount of targets destroyed during the round. Targets is the number of total targets that have spawned during the round. Time to kill is how quickly you reacted between targets. This is measured in milliseconds. Kills per second is how many targets you eliminated during a one second period. And finally, we have accuracy, which is the overall percentage of hit shots. At a glance, you can also interpret your strengths for the task from the white indicator. The closer the point is to the attribute, the better you did in that area. Breaking down this chart, you can see that the accuracy was high, but the score and kill total were low, meaning that the task was performed slower than optimal. The second tab after results are your insights. Insights provide feedback on your performance split into strengths and weaknesses during the task run. Each strength or weakness will include a description to help you better understand what they mean. For example, here we have right side weakness, which means that I need to improve my performance on the right side of the screen. Now that AimLab has identified my weakness, I can create a task with target spawning on the right side of the screen and practice to turn my weakness into a strength. The advanced tab dives deeper into more specific details of the task run. We've already covered score, accuracy, time to kill and kills per second, but we also go into other attributes including total targets destroyed, the total hits, the total misses, your gain, which shows how much you're overshooting or undershooting on a target. If the number is above one, this means you're overshooting and below one means you're undershooting. The error size is the relative error size in pixels from the center of the target. And finally, we have precision, which is how close relative to the center of the target each of your shots landed. The accuracy in time to kill graphs above are broken down as follows. The outer segments on each side represent targets which are further, and the inner segments represent targets which are close. The segments will change color from green, yellow, orange, and red to indicate how well you performed in that location, green being the best performance and red being the least. The accuracy graph is measured in percentage and the time to kill is measured in milliseconds. Here we can see that my aim wasn't too spicy on the right side of the screen, which was also backed up on the insights. I love the visualization tab. Imagine the hexagons on the screen represent your screen on your monitor. Each shape has a color which corresponds with the chart on the right side. In this instance, we're looking at accuracy and the light green color is 90% plus accuracy and the dark blue is less than 50% accuracy. At a quick glance, you can see which areas of the screen you're great at hitting and which areas you need to work on. I can tell there are more blue hexagons on the right side of the screen, which means I have work to do. This was also reflected again back in the insides. The second tab is the reaction time, which works in the same way and breaks down the screen based on your reaction time. Here again, the lighter color is faster reactions and the darker color is slower reactions. So you're feeling competitive, huh? The last tab is the leaderboard, which shows you other people who have completed your specific run under the same criteria and where you match up to them. You can use this as fuel and to keep improving and moving up the ranks. At any time, you can go to your profile from the main menu and select task data from different runs to check your performance overview. You can change the task and mode showing your average of your minimum and maximum runs for that task. Hopefully this helps you understand your results a little better so you can focus on improving. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and drop a thumbs up. You can also follow us over on social media because we serve some of the spiciest memes and best pro plays. Until next time, happy training.